Today we will be telling you the story of Christmas in the not too distant future. Our story is set here at St Andrews in the year 2016. Life is not the same in Epsom in 2016. In fact, life on earth has changed a great deal. No one knows where the pirates first came from. By the time news agencies were first aware of the existence of actual Yoho Ho and a bottle of rum pirates, the problem was already widespread across much of the world. Many of you may think that piratism is a lifestyle choice. Unfortunately, it is actually a disease that spreads quickly from person to person. Before you know it, you have a peed leg, a hook for a hand, and a tendency to say, Arr. As pirates slowly lumbered their way across the landscape, spreading their disease with all of the unfortunate humans who crossed their path, their numbers grew to unmanageable proportions. In fact, as we approach Christmas in the year 2016, 99% of people on Earth are now pirates. Only 1% of humans have managed to stay beyond the reach of our new pirate overlords. But it's not as bad as it sounds. Pirate civilization has developed a great deal since the early days. Sure, from the outside perspective, it's all shivery timbers and walk the plank. But if that's what you think being a pirate is all about, you have failed to look beneath the surface. St Andrews has always been an inclusive community. It's time we accepted that pirates are people too. Well, actually, they used to be people too, but now they're pirates, but you get the point. <laughs> Our story begins at number 96 St Andrews Road. Once a residential home, today it is an orphanage, a pirate orphanage. This is the St Andrews home for pirate children. <coughs> Thanks, Gary. I hate it when I have gruel caught in my throat. A pirate with your kind of responsibilities, you should be more careful. Gary, what are you trying to say? I'm just saying perhaps you could look after yourself a bit better. You look in terrible shape. Arr. Well, to be fair, Gary, you'd look pretty rough around the edges yourself. I take great pride in my appearance. These clothes don't rip themselves, you know. <laughs> Enough of this, Gary. It's time to round up the children for dinner. What do we have for them? Well, Gary, as you know, since we pirates took over the world from the regular humans, food supplies have been running low. <laughs> I really miss the humans, the way they used to scream and run away every time we had chicken and timbers. It was a special time, wasn't it? I always remember the time that we made that walker, war, lawyer walk the plank. He always kept on yelling, Objection, Your Honour. <laughs> oh, I forgot that you were a judge before you became a pirate. I have a distant memory. I'm much happier as a pirate. I much prefer saving the seven seas and hunting for treasure. Anyway, what's for dinner? Unfortunately, the rats ate the last of our regular food. So, what are you giving the children? Rat surprise! <laughs> oh, what's a surprise? Well, right now, the only surprise is that we'll be having rats again tomorrow on Christmas Day. Okay, kids, that's enough anger and practice for one day. It's time for some dinner. What are we having? Rats. Well, Pyrus, we'll have to see. Everyone starts with one rat, and we'll see what's left. Pirate Dad, can we go find some humans to skate tomorrow? I want to try out a new R. I don't think so. Tomorrow is Pirate Christmas, a special day for pirates all over the world. I don't uh, What is Pirate Christmas? Well, it's a day when... It's a day when... It's the day when pirates remember a particularly crazy pirate tried to blow up the houses of Parliament. <laughs> no, that's Pirate Guy Fox. <laughs> so what is Pirate Christmas? You know, I'm finding it hard to remember what Pirate Christmas is. Don't worry, kids. You all head off to bed, and I'm sure by the morning we will have remembered. Can we have a good night story? <laughs> okay, Aaron. Everyone, hop into bed. Come on. Good night, Aaron. Good night. 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 Good night.
Okay, all right. If there are more survivors out there, we should let them in. So you go in and bolt the front door, you go with them to make sure there are no pirates around, and I'll see if I can remember the sorts of things we used to do. All right, it's Christmas miracle. Oh, Christmas day. So what are we going to do to celebrate Christmas? Well, back before pirates took over the world, we used to tell the story of Christmas. How did we do that? Well, we'd get people to, to dress up in costumes, and we'd act out different characters in the story. <laughs> Some of those old questions are still up the back. Great! Go grab some. Everyone, we need to get out of here! What, what's going on? Those are not regular children waiting outside the church. You, you mean... So we set a crowd of pirates into the church. <laughs> See, we're not just like I told you. It's a Christmas miracle. Yay! No, 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 no. We won't be infecting anyone today. Well, not until lunchtime anyway. <laughs> Sorry, that's just a bit of pirate humor. Arr. Did that pirate just talk without saying arr? All of them can talk normally. It's a Christmas miracle. Actually, your voice there is talk normally. <laughs> Saying R uh, is more of a tradition. Please, we're not going to hurt you. He was going to change things. 
He was going to hold the hands of the lonely and feed the hungry and give voice to the silent. He was going to show the world that everything is holy. And Mary felt her soul sing and the baby growing inside her. Now back in those days, there were power-hungry men who were in charge of the country. And these men wanted to count how many people there were in the land. So they told folks, gather yourselves up and head home to the place that you were born. And then we can count you every single one. Now Joseph Arr! was married to Mary and was going to be the dad of the little baby that was about to be born. Joseph had been born a long way away in a town called Bethlehem. And so he and Mary travelled all the way to Bethlehem. <laughs> when they arrived in Bethlehem, there was no way for them to sleep. So poor, tired Joseph ran around looking for a bed. But all he could find was a broken down shed at the back of an inn. And so that is where they set up camp.
time for a song. Yay! Oh. Anyone else going to play along? <laughs> <laughs> 